Today, I'm taking a look at a couple of pieces from Rabbit Summer 2021. Seven point zero nine miles, nine minutes, seven seconds per mile, going for a nice and easy run along the Heritage Trail in Dyersville, Iowa, and testing out some new pieces from a Rabbit in their summer 2021 collection. Now, before I give you my thoughts on how these pieces did and whether I do or don't like them, I do want to go over some disclosures. These are pieces of clothing that I purchased myself. No one sent them to me. No one's paying me to, to make this video. Rabbit doesn't know that I'm making this video. And no one's going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about some of this new gear from Rabbit. First, let's talk about this orange uh, tank that I wore today uh, wore for this run. It's called the Welcome to the Gun Show Perf Ice. So the ice part stands for the material that this shirt is made out of. It's their Ice Cafe Nylon is what they're calling it. It's made out of recycled coffee grounds that makes it more sustainable. That's the primary benefit, but it's also supposed to help with odor control and with keeping you cooler. So there's a, a big functional benefit to it as well. The perf part of the name comes from the fact that the material is perforated. So it's, it's like a mesh where there's a bunch of holes in the material as well. They do warn that because of the nature of this uh, Ice Cafe nylon and the perforations, that the shirt can start pilling if it's worn under a hydration vest. I haven't had the chance to wear it with a hydration vest, but I did get a couple of wears out of this shirt already because I've been wearing it not only as a shirt to run in, but also as a shirt to just wear casually. And in both instances, this shirt has been absolutely fantastic. I've been really enjoying it. I'm very surprised how much I do like this orange color. It's not normally a color that I would pick, but I'm loving the color, but I'm also loving the material. Not only has it been fantastic to run in, very comfortable, the cut is really nice. I feel like it's flattering for my body type, but also because of that, I have been enjoying just wearing it around. It's kind of like a fun summery color, so it doesn't feel to me like I'm wearing like a racing singlet when I'm taking the kids out to like the local splash pad. So it's definitely a versatile piece that I can wear. My concern though is with that pilling that they mentioned when you put it under a hydration vest. It's something that before I'd even kind of read that part about the potential for pilling underneath the hydration vest that I was started to kind of notice. I noticed that around the edges of some of the perforations, just from me wearing it for a couple of days, that um, it's starting to get, not frayed, but I'm starting to notice a little bit of wear. Frankly, I've never really looked at mesh that closely, at least not mesh that's like kind of perforated like the way this shirt is, that closely to like really like remark on whether this is quick or normal or what it is, but it is something that I'm kind of noticing. Uh, I'm hoping that it's something that's gonna just make the shirt look a little bit more kind of well-worn by the time you get it through a handful of washes but hopefully it's not something that's gonna really affect the longevity of the piece because I do really like it. And I do plan on spending a lot of time in this shirt over the course of the summer. Next, let's take a look at the Champ Singlet. Now this is one that I don't think is new. I think it's been around for a while. I think a lot of you guys uh, have been telling me about this singlet and have already been running and racing in it. This is definitely one that I wouldn't wanna wear to the local splash pad with the kids because it looks like a racing singlet and that's exactly what it is. It's uh, an aggressive racer back is how Rabbit is describing what this is. And I am a big fan of a racer back when it comes to summer running and especially summer racing because I just don't wanna have any material on. This is made out of rabbit mesh, which is a different kind of mesh than the previous uh, tank that I talked about. This one is supposed to be lightweight and fast drying, but it doesn't have that ice cafe nylon in it. This is more of a traditional mesh that they've been using for, I think for a while now. And I gotta say, this singlet works really well. 
The problem that I have with a lot of racing singlets is they try to get super lightweight and very uh, ventilated. This is both of those things. It's not the lightest singlet that I've ever worn, but it's definitely lightweight. But the thing that it does really well is it stays off the skin even when you're super sweaty. And so some of those singlets that are very, very lightweight, that are lighter than this, sometimes when you get them wet, when you're sweaty, or if water is on you, um, they just kind of like stick to your skin and it gets really gross. It feels like you've kind of got like um, a plastic bag stuck to your body. Like I don't love that feeling. Uh, and this does a great job of avoiding that. I think part of it is the material and then part of it is the structure of it. The way, the way that all these hems are put together, I think that it lends to having a little bit more structure in it than just like the super minimal racing singlets might be. And what that does is I think it helps it stay a little bit more flowy and let that air ventilate through. So I was a big fan of taking this out on the trails for about a 10 mile trail run in some you know pretty hot conditions. It was pretty humid that day as well. And I just absolutely loved having it on. I kind of forgot that it was there. And I think that's the really the best thing that I could say about a racing singlet. It's definitely something that I'll reach for. And I'm even thinking, you know, maybe I need to pick this up in black because I love to race in white, but I love to train in the black singlets. So I might need to get another one of these. All right, next, let's take a look at something that also is a departure for me in terms of color, and that is a pair of shorts that isn't gray or black. This is the thigh time three inch short. It's a super lightweight, a super bright, uh, almost like a split short. It's got, uh, it comes up a little bit on the side. It's not completely split, but it's got a little bit of a notch in there. In the back, you've got a giant pocket that was able to fit my iPhone 11 Pro with a case that's in here. And there's also a key pocket as well. These back panels are made out of rabbit ice, that recycled coffee ground material that is supposed to aid in cooling. The liner of these shorts is also made out of rabbit ice, and that's where the, um, the liner is where that key pocket is back here. And then the outer shell, this uh, I think it's yellow, is made out of a different material, rabbit dry, which is also made out of recycled coffee grounds, but it's different than the rabbit ice. Uh, it feels a little bit more kind of like a shorts material where the rabbit ice material feels a little like softer, almost like silky in terms of the way it feels. So two different materials that are on this pant. Running these shorts was really comfortable. Again, this is the one that I took out on the trails and it was fantastic out there. It felt like I had plenty of room. It's very billowy, these shorts, which is a little bit different for me, not usually my preference. Uh, I'm more of a half tights kind of guy, but uh, I did very much enjoy the amount of ventilation that you're getting through the shorts uh, and they were really comfortable to wear. The two things that I don't love about these shorts is number one is that those rabbit ice panels that are on the back, I kind of wish that those were just stash pockets, even if they were smaller ones. I kind of felt like that would be a really good place for either keys or a gel or two. I feel like the back pocket in these pants works really well for putting a phone in there, but I also don't like to put, you know, things that I'm going to need during the run, like uh, gels in the same pocket with things that I'm not necessarily going to need during the run, which is like my phone. So that's the only thing that I wish that these shorts had different. The other thing is, you know, I do love my dark colored shorts for a reason. And the primary reason that I love dark colored shorts, other than I just like dark colors, is that when you're running in a bright colored short, it just all always looks like you peed your pants, at least for me with the way I sweat. And I feel like with these yellow shorts, I'm kind of getting a little bit of that same thing because the bright yellow outer layer and then the darker liner color, it just, you could kind of see the, like the, the outline of the brief. Uh, or the liner that's in there. And I'm just not a, a huge fan of that look. So it didn't bother me that much. I mean, I was on the trails. I was out there by myself on that particular day. So there was no one to see it anyway. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to experiment with some of these new colors. Uh, but this, this color is, is not my favorite. It doesn't affect the performance of the material at all. There's also, it comes in darker colors as well. Uh, but just to completely put it out there and let you know, I'm trying new colors. Didn't love it this particular time. All right, the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is the FKT five inch short, uh, which uh, I think addresses a lot of the problems, not problems, but things that I noted about the thigh time three inch. So it's a five inch short, which is generally a length that I prefer. I just feel like it's a little bit more versatile to use. A three inch short 
I can use that one for running. A five inch short, depending on you know where I'm going, I can wear that to run. And also like if I have to go pick something up after the run, uh, that's something that I can also wear as well. I don't feel too terrible about showing up in a place with, with five inch shorts if other people are, are gonna be seeing me. But the other things that I love about these shorts is this waistband is just unbelievably soft. Uh, it feels really good against the skin and it's really tall, which I feel like should definitely be a thing in more shorts. I'm uh, loving the like the comfort that it puts against the belly uh, when you've got that really tall waistband. So I'm uh, really enjoying the way that this waistband feels. It's got a giant pocket in the back, although they say that it can't fit anything more than like a regular size iPhone. Um, but I was able to fit my iPhone 11 Pro with the case in there really well. And on the sides, there are stash pockets. And these stash pockets are not that wide, but they do go relatively deep. So you could fit a, a gel or two in each of these side pockets. So I feel like as far as pockets go, they have the right number of pockets for I think a five inch short. The thing that they don't have though is a key pocket. So for me on this particular run, when I was out on the Heritage Trail, I did have my phone in the back and then my key in one of the side stash pockets. And then I run into that problem again where you know, this is a pocket without a zipper on the side and the key is not something that I'm gonna be reaching for during my run. And then if I need to put gels in here as well, then I've got something that'll be pulling out of the pocket in the same pocket as something that I want to stay until the end of the run. So a minor thing, but overall, I do love the attention to detail with the pockets on this short. The liner on these shorts is Rabbit Knit, which for me in this instance, wasn't a great kind of fit for me, uh, I felt like the liner was a little bit on the thin side, which overall is a really good thing because then it's not gonna be too hot. But what I found is, at least in the beginning part of the run, I felt like the liner was riding up a little bit. So I had to kind of like get back in there and kind of reposition uh, a couple of times. I think once I got a little bit sweaty, that then it kind of like fell into place properly, uh, but it was a little bit uncomfortable for me, at least in, in the first couple of miles. Otherwise, it felt really comfortable to run in. The other thing about these shorts is that this material is really light, which I think is also great for summertime. It's got a little notch cut into the side here, uh, and which makes it very flowy, which again is not my kind of favorite feeling to have, but if you're looking for something that's really lightweight and really gets a lot of ventilation in, these shorts are definitely gonna do the trick. The only other thing that I felt was a little bit kind of unusual about these shorts is because this waistband is so big, it moves this pocket further down. And so I felt like with the weight of my phone that was in here, I felt like the phone was a little bit lower than I thought was comfortable on the small of my back, kind of towards my tailbone. And so that just took a second to get used to. Once I got used to that, no problems with it all. The, the phone stayed in there just fine. The last thing that I'll say about this rabbit gear that I got for summer 2021 is that it was shipped to me in repack. So there's an option when you check out at rabbit to select a reusable packaging. It costs a little bit more. I'm guessing you're paying for the return postage, but they send you all your stuff in a package that is Velcro to open. And then also when you're done with it, you remove a return label that's kind of sewn in on the inside you Velcro it back shut and you just put that packaging right back in a mailbox and then it gets sent back. And so there's not cardboard that you have to uh, recycle. There's no waste. You just send it right back, uh, which I thought was a really interesting idea. Uh, I didn't love the idea of paying extra for that, but I do appreciate the effort that they're trying to make here. The idea that they're experimenting with, I think is a pretty cool one. So overall, I'm really excited about this gear that I've picked up for summer 2021. I think it's gonna be a really hot summer. We've already seen so far that it's gonna be a hot summer. So having this flowy, billowy, lightweight, quick drying material, I think is going to be very useful. So if you have any questions about any of these rabbit items, feel free to leave in the comments down below. I'd love to talk to you guys down there or feel free to stop by the live stream that I do right here on YouTube, Monday through Friday. I'd love to be able to interact with you in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?